Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's me, Alan Ander, from iOS Beta Activation. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate you the features in iOS 4.2 Beta 1. And I have my iPad 3G right here to show you guys what's new in this firmware. So, iOS 4.2 Beta was released earlier today by Apple developer for iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad. And um, I have it on my iPad right here. So if you want to test iOS 4.2 beta on your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPod, or iPad, I'm sorry, go to iPhoneBetaActivation.com. There'll be a link right down there and in the description. And sign up for a slot. It's only $7, and once you register and you receive a confirmation email, you can download the firmware direct from a website on fast server, so you can get 4.2, the IPSW, <clears throat> download it to your computer, Mac or PC, and then use iTunes 10 to upload it to your iDevice and then get it restored, not updated, restored to 4.2. So here's my iPad running 4.2 already. I don't know if you can tell, but the Game Center icon is right there on um, the home screen. So first of all, let me go ahead and go to settings and general. And it's, it already came out because of multitasking. I just want to show you guys that it is indeed on version 4.2. You can see right there, then the build number. I just don't want to show you guys my serial number or anything. But um, let's go ahead and go ahead and look at the multitasking features of iOS 4. So one of the big features uh, for the iPad now is multitasking. This already was available in iOS 4 and 4.1 for the iPhone and iPod Touch, but it wasn't necessarily available for the iPad. So now you can go ahead and multitask. So I'll go ahead and open the settings application like I already had right there. And I'm going to go ahead and double tap the home button. And there we go. We have multitasking the grid right on the bottom of the iPad. And here are all the applications that are already running. And of course, if I swipe to the far left, um, there's different controls for the iPad now. You can go ahead and adjust the brightness of the iPad from the left. You have the iPod controls, basics in the middle. You have the iPod app as default right here, but if you're running Pandora or Rhapsody or any other application that takes advantage of you know, your music controls, that icon will appear here. And this is for the orientation lock. So um, the reason what happened is that Apple, starting with 4.2, the physical button for the side here was originally known for the screen orientation. Now it's going to be known for silencing the, the volume. So now I can silent or, you know, turn on the, the sound, just like you can on the iPhone. And of course, to change the or to lock the orientation, if it's in portrait or landscape, you press the button and it'll activate the orientation lock. So that's a difference there for the physical button. It's the first time Apple ever does that for one of uh, physical buttons for a mobile device, as far as I'm aware. So let's go ahead and open Safari. And there we go. We multitask directly to Safari. I have a forum here that my brother was uh, browsing before. So uh, there you go, forums. Let's go to notes. And a new feature in notes is there's a different font. Um, Apple was using the marker felt font as the default font originally for the notes app. And in 4.2, you can now switch between chalkboard, Helvetica, and marker felt. So right here I'm using chalkboard and it does look a lot different from the original uh, font that was available in notes. And of course there's a lot of notes that I have there and of course the new font. So notes.app was also updated. Another big thing with iOS 4.2 is wireless printing. Now I was having a bit of trouble um, getting wireless printing to work on my HP printer. but. Um, the way it works is that if you want to print either a photo or a document you have in iWork, um, stuff like that, what you need to do is, I don't know if I have a photo here. Okay, there you go. Let's see, let's say I have a photo, some fish here. I can actually press the forward button as you usually do. And you have a new option to print. So I press print. And of course, this is where you have to, this is where your printer options are. Um, in settings on app, I didn't find any other printer options, so I think you'll only be able to edit these settings once you're in an app that allows printing. So if I select printer, it's going to try to look for printers in my Wi-Fi network, but it won't find any because I've been having some trouble with the OS 10 10.6.5 um, beta for my Mac. 
so I couldn't find my HP printer. But uh, once you find it, it's gonna find all the printers that your Mac has configured, and you can select the number of copies you want. It doesn't select whether you want it in color, in black and white, or in grayscale, so I hope that's an option Apple can add in a future beta. Uh, us developers will be sending us some feedback on that. You tap the print button, and your printer will begin printing the photo, or a Word document, or a Excel document, or whatever you had with the iWork suite on the iPad. Of course, Apple does have to update the iWork suite for, for November, once the final version of 4.2 comes out. Last thing I can show you before uh, I exceed so much minutes on this video is Game Center. So, here's my uh, username, Alan Adder. If you have Game Center on your iPhone or iPod Touch or an iPad already with 4.0, 4.1, sorry, make sure you go ahead and uh, add me. I'm adding a bunch of people all the time. And um, that's, there's Game Center for the iPad. It's much you know larger to view. You can look at all, it's the same functionality. It shows you all the games you're using, all of your achievements, friend requests. It's all pretty much there, guys. So there's also the Game Center app for the iPad. Um, another unknown feature from iOS 4.2 is AirPlay, and that allows you to actually stream your iTunes music to, to a stereo of some sort. So, um, and also on the iPad as well, if you want to stream your iTunes library while you're viewing some photos, I believe I saw it somewhere here, um, that button right there at the top right is the AirPlay button. So, if I turn, if I press the button, and put AirPlay, the iPad's available. So, if, I'm, if I have a home stereo that you know, it's AirPlay compatible or, a or AirTunes compatible. I can select my iPad for AirPlay use and I can go ahead and stream the music from my iPad to that system, that digital stereo system over there. Alright guys, so that's pretty much a quick demonstration of iOS 4.2 beta. Again, you can register your device for use of iOS 4.2 beta at my, uh, at, sorry, at iPhoneBetaActivation.com. I was using a previous domain name that I used for the spring iPhoneBetaActivation.com. The link will be below. Just seven dollars. You will need your device's UDID, unique device identifier, and you uh, pay with Google Checkout. And then I'll, we'll send you a confirmation email once we have your device registered. Um, quick note: if you already had iOS 4 beta access with that device you're currently using, um, you were using iOS 4 on your 3GS or on your i on your third generation iPod. Um, you don't have to pay for registration. Um, I believe most developers. I know I am. Uh, we kept those UDIDs on record with Apple servers so that you can go ahead and use 4.2 without paying this again because you know you already paid once for the same firmware you're just gonna get a couple extra features free alright guys so that's iOS 4.2 beta 1 for the iPad and I'll see you guys next time Peace.